So I'm in the third week of art school and I'm in this amazing painting class. It's one of my favorite painting teachers. And I'm in there painting and, and there's this guy <laughs> who was in the class kind of off to my left. We always set up in the same place. It was a head painting class and we'd set our tables up. We could see the model and everything, our palette and our, our easels. And, but there's this guy off to the left and, and I noticed that he would, he would spend, he was really slow. Like he would spend a long time setting up his palette. Like he would constantly be moving his table and his, and his easel. And then he would squirt out the paint and then he'd go to the bathroom and he'd come back. And I started to become aware that he actually, <laughs> he wasn't painting. He was just always setting up. And, and then I'd notice he would leave for 10 minutes and the class was only like an hour. And then, you know, like that first day, it's like, okay, you know, like he, I noticed that he just like never even got to doing art, but he did this every week. And I just became really distracted by him. And I, I understand it, right? Like he was terrified <laughs> to do this, to do, to make the art, you know? And it's like, we all, I was scared. That's why I was sort of like looking at him, but I, you know, but you, you know, everyone's kind of diving into it, you know, so I was really aware and sure enough, you know, third week, he's still doing that. You know, he's dropping stuff on the floor. He's changing his apron and all this stuff's going on. You know, I'm really distracted. And then there's this fly on my canvas and because of the way the lights were and, and I'm just, I'm just kind of going through the motions, but I'm just noticing this fly and it has this huge shadow on it. And then it kept flying on the girl in front of me on her blouse. And she had this white blouse and it was like this thing that's crawling up and I'm wondering if it's going to get on her neck, you know? And then I'm really aware of the, of the teacher who's wandering around. Who's, he's amazing. He was amazing. And I, I was so scared that he was going to look at my work and I could just feel him walking around because he'd kind of like come by and say things, you know? Anyway, um, this is Nicholas Wilton and this is Art to Life and I'm talking about the external distractions that keep us from making our art. And this is, this is a huge issue and it's like there's so many things that can pull our attention away and we're so sensitive, but understanding like which door you want to open, where you want to go and, and how, to, how to stay focused on the internal conversation to drop into your art. And that's, it's tricky because there's so many things going on on the outside that sometimes it's hard to drop on the inside. But that's where all the goodness is, all the wonder, all the possibilities for your work. And when we're just getting going and there's things like fear and things, you know, or intimidation and everything just, just seems distracting, but understanding about these two, you know, about external and internal can be really helpful because that internal conversation actually is really calm. You know, it's like a lake that has a storm on top, you know, all this stuff going on, but just about three feet down below that crazy water, it's super calm. And that's where we want to go. And that's the internal door. And that's the, that terrain down there in there is what the creative path goes through. That's, that's where we're meandering in our art making and in our life. So I'm just, you know, thinking back on how, how it's just these two places, there's external and there's internal. And to just remember that it's always about dropping in, you know, art making actually is the process of paying attention to those internal, um, that internal dialogue. And that's the doorway, even though it's sometimes hard to see and sometimes hard to remember to open when the other doorways, there's so many and they're open and they're noisy and they're distracting. And so right now we're, we're offering this really cool program called Spark and it's all about that internal doorway. So I would love for you to check it out. We're going on this three week adventure in about, in just a couple days. So please click on the link below, check it out and uh, leave a comment um, also about how you stay focused, how you drop into this, into this place. Cause it's different for everyone. And there's a lots of challenges around doing this, but that's where the goodness is. It's in, internal goodness and it's available. And that's where the amazing art's made. Hope your Sunday's great. Check out the link to spark. I hope you can join us. It's all about going and discovering that internal world. Awesome. Okay.
Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.